welcome to all of you first of all i would like to say thanks to ratnesh dr ratnesh kumar mishra who accepted my invitation uh, for this webinar he is an assistant professor in nit jamshedpur he has 13 years teaching experience and he has published a 7 to 8 paper in the focus in the sci journal and uh, now today he is going to deliver the talk uh, about the uh, he has done his phd in the commutative algebra and uh, today he is going to deliver the topic about the commutative algebra itself so it's a very very feature for the ms student uh, so okay now welcome sir and then now you can start hello uh, thank you dr pratiba and uh, organizer for giving me the opportunity uh, am i audible yes now you are audible sir okay now you can continue okay okay <clears throat> so my topic is field theory and its extension okay so uh, why we study field theory field theory actually this is the combination of three topics first one solving the non linear equations Uh, second one algebraic geometry and third one is the algebraic number theory so why the need of the field theory actually in the 17 uh, 70 uh, in that time lagrange has solved the uh, cubic equation and the equation of degree equation of degree 4 and this is the and the cubic equation and he give the solution now in the 1799 the rafni has proved that ki 5 degree equation uh, if you solve so it cannot find the algebraic solution so in 1824 when the galva give the uh, have given the necessary and sufficient condition uh, for the Uh, solving the equation uh, means uh, means uh, he gave the necessary and sufficient condition for the, um, uh, the equation are solvable and higher than degree five. So today this is called the Galva theory. So uh, Galva group, Galva ring, uh, field extension. Uh, finite field theory all these are very very useful in the coding theory and as well as uh, uh, cryptography so now in this lecture just i am going to give the basic idea of the field extension ki what is the field extension and uh, uh, give the some basic notion of the galva group so first field extension uh, i assume that you know the what is the field uh, commutative ring in which uh, uh, multi non zero element has multiplicative inverse that is called the field so field extension means suppose you have the any field f and this is the subfield of the any another field k f is the subfield of k now you can say that k is the field extension of f if k is vector space over f so there are two type of extension number one finite extension and number two infinite extension so if this k is infinite dimensional vector space over f so this extension is infinite field extension so for example r x1 x2 dot 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 this is uh, vector space infinite dimensional vector space over r so this is the infinite extension and uh, finite extension means if k is finite dimensional 
vector space over field f so uh, that is denoted by this is this is the uh, degree of of k over f or yeah, dimension of k over f so suppose this is the n means the k is the uh, finite dimensional vector space over f means k is the um, field finite field extension of f and the degree is n so this is the very simple examples this is c over r this is the 2 why 2 because base is b is the 1 and iota means we can write any complex number x in terms of a into 1 plus b into i so we can say that ki b spans c and number 2 we can write any uh, complex number suppose a i plus uh, sorry a into 1 plus b into i equal to 0 so this will write 0 plus 0 into i so when you compare a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 so therefore we can say that ki beta is linearly independent so beta is linearly independent and uh, uh, beta spans c so therefore uh, c is the uh, two dimensional vector space over r so this is the finite field extension similarly you can verify that this is the exercise for the students q of root 2 over q so again this is the 2 in this case basis is 1 root 2 this is the basis so you can verify that how the theorem is is suppose l is the finite extension of k and k is the finite extension of f so now we can say that ki l is the finite extension of f so now this proof ki l is the finite extension of k that is given k is the finite extension of f this is given now we can say that ki l is the finite extension of f since l is the finite extension of k so l is the finite extension of k therefore we can say that ki l is the finite dimensional vector space over k now this is the basis b1 is the basis of this one l1 l2 dot 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 ln and k is the also given this is the uh finite dimensional vector space over f so therefore b2 is the basis k1 k2 and k so now we can say that ki beta 1 into beta 2 this is the element of l means our claim is ki prove that ki beta 1 beta 2 suppose this is denoted by beta yani ki beta equal to we can write l i k j i equal to 1 to m and uh, j equal to 1 to 3 to n if you prove that ki beta is the basis of l over f now we have to prove uh, means we done we can say that ki l is the finite dimensional vector space over f so there is the very easy proof number 1 prove that beta is linearly independent and number 2 beta spans l so beta is linearly independent so for number 1 we can say that we can say that summation i equal to 1 to 
i is varies from 1 to m j varies from 1 to n i varies from 1 to m and j varies from 1 to n f i j and uh, l i and k j so this equal to 0 so first of all beta is linearly independent so this is the beta now we have to prove that ki f i j is 0 is the all the coefficients are zero now we can say the beta is linearly independent so uh, now for here fix i equal to 1 so i equal to 1 so right f11 l1 k1 f12 and i equal to 1 l1 k2 dot 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 plus uh, i equal to 1 is the fix so f1 then j equal to n 1 n i fix and k j varies so k n equal to 0 now in this one i equal to 2 so f21 l2 k1 f22 l2 k2 f2 n L two k n equal to zero. In this way, i equal to n in this one fix f m one l n k one f m two l two k two plus f m n l n k n equal to zero. so now what we do in this one take the l1 common in this one take the l1 common so take the l1 outside of this one in this the take the common now in this one take l2 common so take outside l2 similarly now in this one take lm common sorry this is the lm 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 common okay so write this one in the next step after taking the l1 common in the first row in the second uh, in second one take l2 common in the last one take lm common now see after this one this is suppose this is the c1 suppose this is the c2 and this is the cm so l1 c1 plus l2 c2 plus lm cm equal to 0 l1 c1 plus l2 c2 plus lm cm equal to 0 and we know that k is the sorry l is the where see that l is the finite dimensional vector space over k so this is the basis yani ki l1 l2 lm is the basis of l that is the given ki l is the finite dimensional vector space over k so therefore if l1 l2 lm are the basis this is basis this is basis so therefore this is the linearly independent so therefore c1 c2 etc cm all are zero so what is the c1 c2 f11 k1 plus f12 k2 plus f1 n k n equal to 0 f11 k1 plus f12 k2 dot 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 plus f1 n k n equal to 0 in the similarly f m1 dot 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 f m1 k1 plus f m2 k2 plus f m n k n equal to 0 now we in the second step that is given k is the finite extension of f and k1 k2 k n are the basis so therefore all the f i j are zero any f110 f120 f1 n0 f m10 f m20 f mn0 
so therefore we can say that f i j are zero so now we conclude that ki beta is linearly independent ek minute okay now second one is we have to prove that this is the first one second one ki beta spans l so beta spans l so therefore we can write for every element any element x belongs to l we can write x is alpha 1 l1 plus alpha 2 l2 dot 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 plus alpha n ln now we know that ki c l is extension of k and k is extension of f means each alpha i alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n are the element of k but we know that k is the finite extension of f if k is finite extension of f now we can say that k is finite dimensional vector space over f okay so therefore we can write each alpha i is the linear combination of the elements of f so finally we can say that ki for uh, beta spans l so therefore if l is the extension of k k is the extension of f now we can say that l is the extension of f and every field is the extension of itself and suppose if k is the extension of f and this is the one so therefore we can say that k must be f so this is the very easy things and you can verify that now next one we have to define the uh, simple extension so for simple extension first we know this theorem you let k be the extension of the field f and a is the element of k then there exist f a this is the smallest sub field of k which contain both f and a so we call f a is the sub field obtained by joining f and a so their proof is very easy just i am giving the idea of the proof of this one so f a okay now suppose a is the collection of all subfields of k which contains both f and a both f and small a take a a is the collection of all subfields of k which contains both f and a take this now we know that in the group theory in the ring theory we have studied ki intersection of all ideals are ideal intersection of uh, uh, all subgroups or subgroups similarly we can verify that intersection of all subfields are the subfield so now f a we know that okay now f a this is the intersection of all those subfields of k which are members of a therefore f a is a subfield of k this is the 
subfield of k and f a contains both f and a now since each member of a contains f and a therefore we can say that ki f a is the element of a so by the definition of intersection every subfield of k in a contains f a therefore f a is the smallest subfield of k which contains both f and a now we can generalize this one to f of a b this is the smallest subfield of k where k is the extension of f a and b are the elements of k so f of ab is the smallest subfield of k which contains both f a and b now you can generalize to a1 a2 a3 an adjoint f2 a1 a2 an this is the smallest subfield of k which contains all a1 a2 an adjoint with f so therefore we can uh, state ya yeah, define simple extension simple extension means if k equal to adjoint of f with a that is k is called the simple extension now we discuss the some examples of simple extension and some example a uh, not a simple extension so if you see c the set of complex number and r so this is the c is the simple extension over r now q root 2 over q this is the simple extension over q because you see this is the r and adjoint with this is i r i so this is what this is the c so these are the examples of uh simple extension means simply you can write q adjoint with alpha over q this is the simple extension f of x over f x is uh, generator generated by x this is the simple extension but what is the not a simple extension real number over q this is not simple extension this is not simple extension now algebraic element so what is the algebraic element suppose k is the extension of field f and element a is the a is the element of k this is set to algebraic over f this a is set to algebraic over f k is the extension of f and the element a of k this is called the algebraic over f if there exist a polynomial fx over f such that f of a equal to 0 otherwise a is transcendental now we can see that q root 2 over q so root 2 belongs to q root 2 so this is algebraic over q algebraic over q because root 2 satisfies the x square minus 2 belongs to 
qx so root 2 satisfies suppose this is fx so root 2 satisfies fx equal to 0 but we can say that ki pi and e are not algebraic over q so therefore there is the concept of algebraic extension there is the concept of algebraic extension an extension k of a field f this is called the algebraic extension an extension k of field f this is called the algebraic extension if every element of k is algebraic over f if every element of k is algebraic over f so we can say that ki k is algebraic extension of f so number 1 every finite extension every finite extension is algebraic extension so therefore we can say that q root 2 over q c over r these all are finite extension so therefore finite extension is algebraic extension so we can construct a lot of example on the algebraic extension q root 2 over q q root 2 root 3 q root 2 root 3 over q but when you take q root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 etc if this is the infinite extension so that is not algebraic extension so now introduce the transcendental extension ki what is the transcendental extension an extension k of a field f this is the transcendental extension if k is transcendental extension over f means k is not algebraic over f means an extension field एक सेकंड वेट एन एक्सटेंशन फील्ड that has at least one element that has at least one element that is transcendental over f an extension field that has at least one element that is transcendental over 
f so now we can say that ki r is transcendental extension of q because pi is transcendental over q so this is the transcendental extension now algebraically closed field so what is the algebraically closed field this is the similar uh, uh, not a similar but uh, this is the as like uh, motivated from the concept of um, fundamental theorem of algebra so algebraically closed field a field f is algebraically closed if every non constant polynomial in fx has root in f so we can say that f is algebraically closed if every non constant polynomial in fx same field has root in f so we can say that f is algebraically closed so c is algebraically closed but c is algebraically closed but finite field cannot be algebraically closed okay c is algebraically closed and second one ki finite field cannot be algebraically closed okay now you know that simple root multiple root if uh, suppose f is the any field and uh, fx is any polynomial over f so if x minus a divide fx and no other higher order divide fx so we can say that x equal to a is the simple root if x minus a k power m divide fx and no other higher order x minus a k power m plus 1 m plus 2 does not divide fx now we can say that key root of multiplicity m so now splitting field what is the splitting field suppose fx is the any polynomial over f then extension e of f is said to be suppose e is the extension of f so splitting field means you take the any polynomial fx over f so e is splitting field over fx if fx is factorized ya yeah, expressed as the product of linear factor over e number 1 number 2 all the roots lies in the extension e star so e is the smallest field which contains the root of fx so therefore we can say that e is the splitting field of fx again i am repeating e is the extension of f there is the one polynomial fx so e is the splitting field of fx if fx can be expressed as the product of linear factor over e and this is the smallest field which contain the root of fx now we can say that e is the splitting field of fx so therefore we can say that q root 2 over q take the here polynomial x square minus 2 x minus root 2 and the next one x plus root 2 so q root 2 is the splitting field of x square minus 
and their extension is real number i similarly q i and here q x square plus 1 so q i is the splitting field of x square plus 1 Now, fundamental theorem of field theory. Fundamental theorem of field theory. This is called Kronecker's theorem. Yeah, we can say that. fundamental theorem of algebra algebra suppose f be a field and fx a non constant polynomial in fx then there is an extension field e of f in which fx has root Means at least one root exist. So suppose, uh, not a suppose. That is the given. F is the field. Now proof. F is the field that is given. So since F is the field, so therefore, F is integral domain. now fx this is the pid and this is the pid so therefore every pid is the ufd so fx is ufd so since fx is ufd so therefore the polynomial fx in fx small fx in capital fx this has an irreducible factor irreducible factor suppose this is the px px suppose now we can construct we can construct an extension field e of f in which px has root so therefore our problem solved so what we do here since fx is ufd so in the ring theory we have study e every irreducible polynomial and generated by this one this is the maximal ideal of fx so therefore define a map phi from f to fx and coset by ideal generated by px this is the e so how can you map defined phi of a equal to a plus ideal generated by px for some a belongs to f then e is the 
extension of f now suppose px equal to summation ai xi n is greater than 0 and all ai are the elements of f then p of x plus idol generated by px this equal to summation i equal to uh, not a 1 0 to n and ai x plus idol generated by px i so now if you open to so summation ai uh, c now this is apply the binomial expansion a plus b ke power n n c 0 a power n plus n c 1 a means etc you can apply the binomial expansion so what we get summation i equal to 0 to n a i x ke power i and uh, when you apply the binomial expansion in the first term you will get x ke power i in the next one in the every term you will get this term idol generated by px so by the property of ideal if you multiply some uh, no, polynomial or number into ideal that is the also ideal so this is the by the property of ideal this is px and this is what this is the px polynomial this is a plus ideal generated by px so therefore in the z2 if you write 2 plus something ya z4 so what z by 4 z so when you 4 plus ya 8 plus 4 z 12 plus 4 z means multiple of 4 plus 4 z so this is what this is the 0 plus 4 z so similarly here if you apply this thing so you will get this is the idol generated by px this is the 0 plus px so therefore we can say that e is the field extension of f e is the field extension of f e is the field extension of f containing a root px namely x plus px idol generated by this one now we prove the our this one ki suppose f is the field and fx a non constant polynomial in fx therefore there is the n extension e of f in which fx has a root means if this is uh e and here is the, this is the extension of f so fx is the polynomial here at least one root exist in the extension of f so this is the fundamental theorem of algebra okay now due to the lack of time okay i am define the galois field galois group so before going to the galva group first this is the remark ki suppose k is the extension of f k is the extension of f then define the function define a function sigma from k to k and this is the automorphism uh, auto morphism 
if sigma is homomorphism on k so we can say that sigma of a plus b equal to sigma a plus sigma b and sigma a b equal to sigma a sigma b now a k denote the set of all automorphism on k a k denote the set of all automorphism on k under the binary operation and here the binary operation is the operation of two composition of the automorphism so under the binary operation of two composition of automorphism ak this is the group so we can verify that this is the exercise you have to prove that ki sn is the group the set of all one to one corresponding map and here this is the automorphism so the collection of all automorphism that is the ak and uh, here we can verify that this is the group yeah, and the binary operation is the uh, two composition of automorphism this is the binary operation now define the galois group what is the galois group if k is the extension of f k is extension of f so now define this is the galois ya galois but right g a l o i s so this is the galois group of k with respect to f because k is the extension of field f so galois group of k with respect to f is sigma such that sigma of a equal to a for every a is the element of f so now example again we take the example c is the extension of r so galois group of c over r this contains two elements sigma 1 and sigma 2 so we can check that sigma i is plus minus iota yani sigma 1 is if you see uh, sigma 1 a plus i b this is the sigma 1 a plus sigma 1 i plus sigma 1 b so therefore a plus i b similarly sigma 2 a minus i b this is the a minus i b similarly you can also uh, find the example uh, q root 2 over q so galois group of q root 2 over q so as like this one you can also verify that so uh, this is the galois group of the field extension k with respect to f so similarly we can also define the galois group of uh, galois group over 
So rational. So suppose F not with the field of rational number with the field of rational number. Therefore, we can define the KF naught. This is Galois group over over rational. So again, you can check that K Q root two over Q. This is the Galois group over rational and you can also verify that k equal to alpha naught plus alpha one root three it means you can verify that this now art in theorem suppose k is the finite extension of field f suppose k is the any finite extension of field f Therefore, Galois group of K over F is finite. Means we can say that the order of Galois group K over F, this is finite means degree of K over F. So this is the Artin theorem. Now we can define the normal extension. What is the normal extension? When you define the normal extension and, and separable extension, so by this two one, we can define the uh, Galois extension. So before going to the Galois extension, first we know what is the normal extension and what is the separable extension. So normal extension is an extension E over F. This is called the normal extension. If it is algebraic, If it is algebraic and for any irreducible polynomial fx over f, which has root in E, which has root in E, yeah, fx has. All the roots, all its roots in E. Roots in E. Now we can say that this is the normal extension. So if you take the example of finite extension k over f of degree 2, any yani k is the extension over f. K is the extension over F of degree 2. So that is the normal extension. Okay. Now define the separable extension. Okay. What is the separable extension? An extension K over f this extension is the separable extension if it is algebraic and every alpha belongs to k is separable over f 
now we can say that k is the separable extension so if characteristic of f is 0 if characteristic of field f is 0 so any algebraic extension k over f is separable is separable now galois extension so what is the galois extension of finite extension of finite extension k over f is called Galois extension if it is both normal and separable. So many people told the separable extension as the quasi Galois extension. Means if you uh, both criteria fulfill an extension k over f, this is the um, Galois extension if it is both normal and separable. So now example, and this is the last example. We suppose fx equal to x cube minus 2 belongs to qx. Sorry. Then it is then its splitting field is k over q where k is common w where w is e raised to power 2 pi i by 3 so it is the galois extension And uh, one more thing, in the case of normal extension, this is the very uh, interesting result. We suppose L is the extension of K, K is the extension of L. So in the case of normal extension, if L is the normal extension of F, suppose, and K is the middle extension, this is the any extension. Now we can say that L is the normal extension of K. But suppose L is the normal extension of F and F, uh, sorry, K, and K is the normal extension of F. So therefore, we cannot say that K L is the normal extension of F. So this is the very interesting example thing. K L is the normal extension of f and there is the any middle extension now we can say that l is the normal extension of k but in the case when l is the normal extension of k k is the normal extension of f so we cannot show that l is the normal extension of f so this is the counter example uh, this is q 4 and this is the normal extension of q root 2 and this is the normal extension of q so this is the counter example this is the normal extension of this one this is the normal extension of this one but this is not a normal extension of q okay hello hello officer i think you've done Hello. Ah, hello. Okay, uh, sir, done, na? Huh? Yeah, done. Okay, thanks to all of you and thanks to sir, you have accepted my invitation and you have uh, uh, delivered such a your valuable. You have shared your valuable time and delivered such a nice uh, 
job which is very helpful for uh, our msc students as well as somewhere for the btech student also once again thank you very much now thanks to all okay thank you pratika okay. thank you